G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. I just got a visit from my son, so cute. Oh, so of course today's video is all about that RX-7, uh, but before I get into that, I want to say a big massive thank you to Jake Peterson. He sent me a letter from Sydney, Australia. Good on you, mate. And um, you talk about uh, your trip to Japan and you want to see my, you want to see my car. No, you don't. Um, but here, here's a photo of your car that he likes, the Hakoska, and there's a model he built. Nice work, man. Awesome work. And uh, thank you very much for sending in these stickers as well. On you, mate. So happy to hear from you guys. So um, send me stuff. Okay, so let's jump into that uh, car, guys. It is a green RX-7, and uh, I don't really know specs and stuff, and, you know, that's really odd for a guy who has a video channel on cars. But, uh, yes, it looks to be a, you know, early, early RX-7. <laughs> I'm really liking those rims, guys. I do like factory alloys. I do have a thing for it. In fact, I think even... Wouldn't matter what car I ever owned, I would love to have factory alloys. You know, I mean, there is a time and a place for a modified car and, and you know, aftermarket rims. I, I am fans of those things, but um, I do love a factory alloy. So let's move on to other things. <laughs> let's check out the interior. Um, it's brown, it looks to be in very good condition, actually. I think he's got some stuff on the, yeah, on the dash that makes it a bit hard to see, but you can see the material on the seats. Now I want you to have a look at another one because I went to the Mazda Museum in Hiroshima and there was a green RX-7 there. Now of course that one was in stunning condition but check out the interior guys. BAM! Bay City Rollers. Flashback. Oh brown as well. Ah it's just gold. Brown is the new gold. <laughs> yeah, of course, the factory, the one in the uh, Mazda Museum is just stunning. But uh, anyway, it was certainly great to see this green one on the side of the road near my house even. And uh, it's not often you see RX-7s in the wild. I mean, at car shows, I've seen perhaps one or two in, 12, uh, well, in the last few years, right? And in the wild, I've perhaps seen two or three. So... They are very hard to come by. I've seen more RX-3s than RX-7s. Now, that doesn't make sense to me. But uh, it's so great to see one in unrestored condition. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Question of the day is uh, not car related because uh, after this video, what I, what I will be doing tonight, I'll be doing two things. One of them is I will be watching the cricket South Africa versus Australia in the first test. And the second thing that I will be doing is I will be watching, perhaps taking part in, I'm not sure, um, three old dudes. They've got like a... Uh, a, a, a Google Hangout that they broadcast. It's got quite a few um, fans and so I, I, I will be watching and there's a small fraction, small chance I might just pop up and say hello, but we'll see. So hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much everyone, especially to Jake and uh, to Mazda for producing cars and including the Road Pacer, which I love, and uh, to hey, three old, three old dudes. Catch you later. Did I say three old guys? Three old dudes. <laughs> Whoops, see you!